Welcome back dudes and dudettes and everyone in between to another video. As those of you blessed with the capacity to register visual stimuli might have guessed, today I'm doing a video ranking every single combatant in death battle in terms of attack potency, lifting strength, speed, durability, but based purely on death battles episodes. And I'm also here. Now first things first, I want to make things clear. This video is not based on my own research. I just watched every episode of death battle. You watched every single episode? Is that right now? All right. He's easier to. Yeah, he's Biff. He's the MLG. You're cringe. We've watched every episode of Death Battle to now. Obviously, not the ones in the second half of this season. Look at the upload date, you fucking genius. As of the time this is being written, the next episode is Off One versus the. Fuck off, Biff. Good match, good match. Wow, that was extremely funny! Anyway, we've taken a look at all the numbers and basic levels given for all characters and the categories stated prior, keeping in mind a few things. Due to the scope of Death Battle being so much wider than literally any other versus debating series, Death Battle should be able to make their episodes such that any random Joe can jump into any random episode and get a handle on how strong they believe the characters to be without having to refer to other episodes. As such, when a character is referred to as scaling to another combatant on Death Battle, unless numbers or tiers are given in that instance, we cannot just say they have the same stat as the character they've been compared to, as a random viewer has no way to know how strong a pre-established character who's been on the show before is. For example, the feat of Kakashi reacting to lightning has been brought up in three different episodes. Ones for Kakashi himself, as well as Might Guy and Jiraiya scaling to him. The Might Guy scale was given more specific numbers, but Kakashi's number in his own episode was rounded, and Jiraiya wasn't given a number at all. These will be counted as three separate placements. Other times they suddenly change what numbers they give to a character in the same episode. Like Genos' strength and Shazam's speed just suddenly increasing by a thousandfold between mentions for the same feat. Whenever something like that happens, we'll include both numbers as separate placements. Additionally, as some characters are different forms, they will be given separate placements if those forms have specified levels of power, such as with Goku's various Super Saiyan forms. And of course, as we stated, we can only use information Death Battle gave specifically. If they give a numerical frame of reference, such as two times faster than something with a specific speed in the real world, then that's fine. And if there's a feat that isn't calculated, however we're given all the metrics needed to calculate, we'll just calculate it so we're not wasting everyone's time. Oh yeah, and you can check out Biff Weath's channel if you want. I'm, I'm glad I didn't even mention that he has one till now. Doc or self-promoting? Attack potency! So, first things first, Death Battle sometimes uses Newtons as a measurement. Now this is fine, especially when comparing to other feats that are in Newtons, but you cannot directly convert from Newtons to Joules. The reason is because a Newton is the force needed to accelerate one kilogram of mass at a rate of one meter per second squared. A Joule, however, is the amount of energy transferred into an object when one Newton is applied to that object through a distance of one meter. As such, converting Newtons to Joules, tons of TNT, and tons of force isn't really possible. So unfortunately, this is not going to be entirely accurate, but we're going to have to assume that Newtons are being measured in Newton meters. If we didn't, we just end up having a completely separate category purely for comparing the highest number of Newtons, which I might throw in just a list for people who care if I give enough of a shit. Additionally, pounds per square inch, or PSI, is a measurement of force over area which cannot be directly converted to joules or newtons, so we're going to have a segment purely for characters whose power has been measured in PSI. Death Battle should really stop doing these because they can't be compared to different metrics. Let's start with the feats that we can't really compare to anything else, either through them not being really lifting, striking, pulling, pushing, or any of those kinds of feats, or just using a completely different metric that we can't translate to tons of force or to tons of TNT. Zangief can wrestle 1500 pound bears, Mike Hagar can pile drive 750 pound bull sharks underwater, which isn't a real thing because that comes from fan art, but whatever. Ghost Rider can knock over a 200,000 ton building, but they say 1100 blue whales, which is 181,811 US tons though. Master Chief can walk around in thousands of pounds of armor, Edward Elric can manipulate almost 3.4 thousand metric tons of rock, but there's no reason to believe this correlates to lifting or striking strength as they don't compare it to anything. Terry Bogard's put it three thousand pounds of pressure since he can break eye beams but this makes no sense since pounds of pressure isn't a thing and if this is supposed to be psi then the average eye beam can withstand 36,000 psi krona can manipulate almost 9.7 trillion tons of black blood and john talbane scales to anakaras who sank all of egypt which was calculated to over a trillion tons teleporting feats there are two feats for how much mass two characters can teleport they are as such mewtwo teleported the lake with 385 million tons and Shadow in Mewtwo vs Shadow teleported the Black Comet with 915 million tons. Next we have the feats of characters pulling things, which will be counting as separate from lifting strength. And then there's pushing feats which Nem will be covering in a moment. 
Well, let's cover the pulling ones first. Deadpool's able to yank around a 6-ton helicopter. Hercule Satan's able to pull forward four buses, clocking in at 60 tons altogether. Wonder Woman helped pull the planet, which would require her to put in 2.2 quintillion tons as she was doing her fair share. The Hulk was able to pull together 45 quintillion ton tectonic plates. And Lobo was able to drag around the sun, which is about 2.2 septillion tons. Nine characters on Death Battle have had their strength measured through the amount of mass they can push along the ground. They are as such. Scrooge McDuck pushed a water buffalo worth 2,600 pounds. Frank West in his exosuit pushed a car worth 2 tons. Leonis Kennedy pushed a big rock worth 4.5 tons. Nathan Drake pushed a bigger rock worth 20 tons. Lara Croft pushed a limestone block worth 27 tons. Leonardo pushed a pillar worth 240 tons. The Mask pushed a building worth 1,057 tons. And Jason Lee Scott pushed a massive rock worth 11,000 tons. Then, just to make sure no one feels adequate, He-Man pushed the moon worth 70 quintillion tons. This next tier is for the characters where they give feats that we just can't apply numbers to, because they don't calc them and they don't give us enough numbers to work with to calc it ourselves. Samus Aran's able to blow off people's faces, Goomba in the Karibo shoe can jump over 12 feet, Yoshi scales to vaguely above Mario, Felicia can shred through armor, Kratos overpowered Hercules, Spawn can destroy bricks, Bomberman can destroy an entire acre and blow up doors, Shadow's Chaos Blast lets him create a vaguely huge explosion, Mario can crush a castle and jump 20 feet into the air, Luke Skywalker has quote, almost no limits with the force unquote, Harry Potter can use Reducto to destroy entire objects, Chun Li can destroy bricks and stop a car, My Shiro Inui can make explosions, Rainbow Dash can destroy rocks and trees, Master Chief has armor and tank piercing rounds, Slash Man has asteroid busting claws, Princess Peach, I'm not reading that, I'm not Adam. Raiden can destroy concrete, Blanca can fight on par with crocodiles and jaguars, Deathstroke can break doors, Boba Fett can destroy vehicles, Guts can hit with the force of a cannonball, Goliath can smash through two feet of steel, Darth Vader scales to a guy who moved a Star Destroyer, Green Arrow has an atomic warhead arrow which can be anywhere from 20,000 to 50 million tons of TNT, Metal Greymon is vaguely as strong as a nuclear warhead. Dante destroyed a big monolith. Madama Butterfly destroyed a meteor. Bayonetta can punch a satellite, make earthquakes, and slap your soul into the sun. Ganondorf can destroy a pillar, which, as we all know, does make him out reversal. Jack and Daxter can destroy metal doors. Needles Kane can destroy reinforced windows. The Meta can one-shot an armored man, but we can't say how armored. Cammy White kicked a car to death, Ken Masters one shot a bull, Deadpool redirected a rogue helicopter, Daredevil can bust through concrete, and Starlight can kill a whole entire human in a single blast. The PSI Ladder. These are the feats measured in pounds per square inch, and that's what they are. Dig Dug has a 10 PSI pump, the Shredder's durability is worth 3000 PSI by being bitten by a crocodile, the Deep's durability is 4699.74 PSI by being miles underwater. I love the concept of the Deep being more durable than the Shredder. Renamon broke a wall of ice with 6,000 PSI. Portgus DAs destroyed five ships with 15,000 PSI. Black Panther threw a spear with 20,000 PSI. Nightwing broke a car window underwater with 24,000 PSI. Licario smashed Metal Claws with Bone Rush with 56,000 PSI. Sub Zero smashed Titanium with 63,000 PSI. Sonya and Blastoise both got 90,000 PSI. Sonya threw breaking an anvil and Blastoise threw the size of his hydro pump. And Godzilla got 328 trillion PSI. Coming from his flight in Godzilla vs. Hedorah, scaled up to the mass of the 2014 Godzilla. Time for the street tier characters. Only one of these is here because they actually destroyed a street, the rest are in for the actual definition of the tier being that they're superhuman, but not quite wall level. Starting with the vague ones, M. Bison's able to one-shot a human with a fully powered Psycho Crusher, and Ragnar the Blood Edge destroyed a street, which is way above street level, but fuck it. Black Widow is able to snap a neck in a single kick which would require 800 joules, the kinetic energy of Shovel Knight dropping on you would be 6.7 kilojoules, and Ramona Flowers was put at 3,000 pounds of force which translates to 13 kilojoules. Wall level characters now, they are not very strong. Batman and Black Panther vs Batman can break walls, Leon S. Kennedy, Sector and Amy Rose are all worth 19 kilojoules via being scaled to 2 tons of force, Leon through opening a shark's bite, Sector through crushing a human to mush, and Amy Rose from throwing a hammer. Balrog punch an elephant worth 44.482 kilojoules. TJ Combo uppercut Fogor worth 44.8 kilojoules. Peach's Mega Strike is worth 165 kilojoules. Black Canary physically elbows Steel with 269.28 kilojoules. A Train ran through a person with 437.874 kilojoules. And Diva Lockhart throwing Cloud really hard is worth 0.0003 tons of TNT. Building level characters. They cannot destroy continents, and it is definitely not possible for them to destroy planets. Oh my fucking god, there's so many of these. 
fuck's sake. Kenjiro broke a skyscraper, Terminator vaguely smashed through a building, Pinkie Pie's cannon blew up a building, Smokey the Bear knocked a building over, Toph held up a building the size of a castle, Bowser threw a castle, Napalm Man blew up his own museum, Terry Bogart destroyed a building, Ratchet downed a building level alien, Evil Ryu could obliterate a skyscraper, Miles Morales beat up a building level monster, Doctor Doom could move entire buildings, Zuko can destroy a building, and Doomsday's presence was disintegrating buildings. Nowhere else is a better level of power stated for him by the way, boiling away an ocean has no meaning as it doesn't have a time frame, breaking Wonder Woman's arms don't matter as they don't calc it, and also pulling strength doesn't necessarily equate to durability, and due to her having help, how much they think she added isn't addressed. Additionally, he's scaled as Sentry in Zeus, but Zeus isn't given any reference, and Sentry's only city level with this episode's feats. Also, the episode gives no durability for Hulk, not even saying Worldbreaker survived the world exploding. But I guess you could say they established Doomsday to compare to city level. Obviously they were going for him at planet level, but they didn't really express that well. Johnny Cage smashing a diamond put him at 0.0117 tons of TNT. Megazord punched up a monster worth 0.02 tons of TNT. Spyro's Aether Breath was worth 0.08 tons of TNT. Voltron was stated to be 5.5 times stronger than the Megazord, which would be 0.11 tons of TNT. And Virgil uppercutting Beowulf would put him at 0.17 tons of TNT. Pit was put at 0.67 tons of TNT. They used pounds of TNT in the calc, which isn't really a thing, so we had to take their numbers, get the value in joules, and convert that to tons of TNT, which was this. Sephiroth and Goro were both put at 0.72 tons of TNT. Goro threw scaling to Kotal Khan, and Sephiroth was put at 3 billion newtons because he upscales from the door cutting, which by the way does not equate to several Hiroshima bombs, as 15 kilotons of TNT equates to 62 trillion 760 billion newtons. But 3 billion newtons is a lot more than 15 kilotons of force. Death Battle have made the mistake of assuming the 15 kiloton yield of the little boy was in tons of force instead of tons of TNT. Also, they must have considered newtons as newton meters for the sake of this to get the results as well. So what I'm doing is justified, fuck you. Oh, also, Koto blew up a boat. Billy Butcher's put at 3.34 tons of TNT thanks to the laser baby. Blake has put at 4.27 tons of TNT, and Star Platinum has put at 7 tons of TNT thanks to the diamond teeth punching. City block level, it is destroying a block of cities. Sindel physically is with 14 tons of TNT because she smacked diamonds really hard. Mikasa Ackerman's Thunder Spears are with 18.71 tons of TNT. Jake Long blasted through some walls with 31 tons of TNT. Mega Man Volnut apparently dropped a 34.2 ton of TNT explosion. Captain Falcon's Falcon Punch weird lightning filling thingy is 35 tons of TNT. Kirby throwing the frying pan across the sun is only 47 tons of TNT. This is using the numbers literally given in the episode, and I find that really funny they put so much emphasis on it and so we city block level. Sora's building cut is worth 78 tons of TNT. Captain Marvel in her first episode is directly calculated in universe at 92 tons of TNT. They do say tons of force, however Death Battle directly compared to an explosive, meaning they likely meant tons of TNT. Static Shock turning ice into sludge is worth 188 tons of TNT. Weiss's Ice Slide is 231.5 tons of TNT. Johnny Cage, but only to Elder Gods, gets to 269.942 tons of TNT via scaling to Shinnok, who scales to Raiden blowing up a big Buddhist temple. Goro scaling to Raiden this time because they couldn't make up their fucking mind of where he scales is 270 tons of TNT. Sindel's Vanty Scream destroying a mountainside is worth 500 tons of TNT. And then he found his big fuck off Ecto Lasers put at 555.99 tons of TNT. Town levels where the characters can destroy towns. What more do you want from me? That's when Ace can vaguely blow up a whole town. Saberwolf scales to Tusk summoning a meteor which got just below 1.7 kilotons. Miles Morales scales to Peter Parker's 2 kilotons of TNT feats. And Static Shock got twice that at 4 kilotons of TNT thanks to throwing lockers into space. What the fuck is an RX-782? Oh, that's the Gundam. Nem, why did you not just write Gundam, you fuck? Anyway, that was put at 8.9 kilotons of TNT, Urza Scarlet at 16, and Lucy Declonius at 31. Mitsuru was also put at 60 kilotons of TNT thanks to making a lot of ice, though they do say they'll cut it and then that's what they compare to Weiss anyway. Machamp Seismic Tossing Eraticate got 130 kilotons of TNT. Edward Elric scales debatably, or with Philosopher's Stone, uh, who cares. He possibly scales to 157.67 kilotons of TNT. Ang making a ravine got to 149.8 kilotons of TNT. And Sonic and Metal Sonic both smashed a huge stalactite, which they gave 200 kilotons of TNT. To metal anyway, they gave Sonic 199.5 and I'm not sure why. What a massive difference, if they didn't downplay him like that, I'm sure he would have beaten Mario. City level is where the cities go BOOM! Pikachu- <laughs> Pikachu is technically put at a megaton of TNT, they call him a megaton warhead, which is dumb but I find it funny to put him here. 
Mario building a castle is put at 3.47 megatons of TNT. Knuckles punched the ground to create a volcanic eruption worth 3.9 megatons of TNT. The Blue Falcon scaling to a reactor mic going boom is apparently worth 6.7 megatons of TNT. Roano Azora cutting Pika in half. Pika? Pika Pike Pike Pika. This cunt is worth 11.5 megatons of TNT. Raven holding up the Titan's tower measured in megawatt hours, which Biff fucking hates for some reason, comes out to 12 megatons of TNT. Genos initially was put at 15.73 megatons of TNT, with the big older centipede kick count by death battle in this episode, but having two numbers to it. Kakashi was put at 18 megatons of TNT via scaling to dry shaving away a mountain, and Hawkeye has a 30 megaton of TNT arrow. Mountain level? That's not how the mountains crumble. Why are the mountains crumbling in someone else's favor? Jiraiya, Rainbow Dash, Smokey Bear, and Ghost Rider can carve away, shake, become the size of, and blow up a mountain respectively. Jin scales to Kazuya, who made a volcano erupt, which is at most 100 megatons of TNT. Captain Falcon more solidly scales to 100 megatons of TNT by killing Black Shadow. Iron Fist and Sensitivity Punch got him to 150 megatons of TNT. Rock Lee's Six Gate Meteor Busting with his friends got to 230 megatons. The Dumpling Ryu scales to Akuma, who got 415 megatons. And the winner of my favourite episode, Black Canary, has an attack that got 597 megatons of TNT. They say that she can get to nearly 500 megatons, but then show this number on screen instead. It's weird. Geese Howard gets to almost 1.9 gigatons, Battle Mode Dragonzord gets to 2.62 gigatons, and the funny monkey punching the moon got to 3 gigatons. This is when they destroy an island. Dig Dug split an island, I guess. <laughs> Akuma destroyed an island. Also, this is apparently 10 times everyone else, including Dan. And this is also where human holocaust level sits. Might Guy's Hoodoo Daughter creates an island level explosion. Heihachi Mishima is put at 7.767 gigatons of TNT. Vince Mike Sanji is put at 12.2 gigatons of TNT via scaling to Roanoa Azora slicing a big meteor. Genos at the end is put at 15.73 gigatons of TNT when compared to War Machine. The high end of the battle mode Dragon Zord is put at 23.26 gigatons of TNT in the sidebar. Current All Might is put at 24 gigatons of TNT from changing the weather. Iron Man's weird fucking machine thing is apparently 25,000 megatons or 25 gigatons of TNT. Shigeo Kagayama splitting the clouds is worth 30.4 gigatons of TNT. Soul Bad Guy blowing up a giant gear is worth 85 gigatons of TNT. And Tatsumaki's Boro Missiles feat is worth 470 gigatons of TNT. Country level characters could blow up all of Britain and I would thank them. All Might in his prime was put at 1.46 teratons, which is 60 times his current state. Naruto's Tail Beast Bomb was put at 5 teratons. Grey Full Buster was put at 50 teratons. Sigma and Poe were both put at 100 teratons. Kiru was put at 128.2 teratons. Aquaman stopping Atlantis from sinking got over 155 teratons. War Machine scaling to Iron Man got 286.53 teratons. And Sasuke blowing up a meteor with a Susano got to 364 teratons. I saw the words sus and Susano and I fucking laughed, god damn it. You're not gonna be here very long. This is the continent level, people. Android 18 can blow up a continent, I guess, sure. Ichigo's Mugets was put at 800 teratons of TNT, which is apparently generous scaling. I have run out of ways to introduce different segments now, help. Spawn with the mother of all things was able to wipe the earth clean. Yoda was put at 13.98 petatons by scaling to Kip Duran. Obi-Wan Kenobi was put ever so slightly higher at 14 petatons by scaling to the same feat. SDS Ice Storm got 280 petatons. Rock Lee and the Gate of Death got to 400 petatons by scaling to Naruto. Ichigo got to 440 petatons. Mike Guy and the Gate of Death got to 480 petatons by scaling to the same feat as Rock Lee. This also scales to Naruto in his base, but at full power he was able to put out 27 exatons. And then Link scaling to Majora got him 67.55 exatons. Not many characters can destroy a moon apparently, because we've only got three. Shadow played tug of war with an alien that used a moon one tenth the size of ours as a chair. I, I mean, I don't know if that counts as moon level, but fuck you. Strider Hideyu destroyed his moon sized space station. And Sasuke Uchiha was put at 63.5 zeta tons of TNT at one quarter of the Hagoromo and Hamura moon feet put in the corner. Now these are characters that can blow up the earth, innit? Dark Spiral pulled the planet back together, Obi-Wan Kenobi scales to Yarl Poof stopping a planet from blowing up, Cloud scales to the planet busting Sephiroth, 18 can potentially blow up the planet, Ganondorf draws from a planet level energy source, which maybe counts, I don't know. Kirby can crack a planet, Vegeta's final flash can blow one up, World War Hulk blew up a planet in a fight, Thor in both of his episodes was put at vaguely planet level, both Majin Buu's were able to blow up a planet, Captain Marvel as Binary was listed as a planet buster, and the Hulk blew up an asteroid twice the size of Earth. 
for specific numbers, Ryuko breaking all those life fibers was put at 658.72 zettatons of TNT, and Mega Man X scaling to the General's laser put him at 57 zettatons of TNT. Wait then, why is Ryuko first in the dock? Hey guys, so I have to interject here, there was a little, little bit of a goof. Uh, so, I, I looked at the numbers again and I had completely misplaced Sasuke. And uh, so Ryuko is not 658 zeta tons, it's 658 exatons, which is scraping in a small planet, then X at 57 zeta tons, and then Sasuke should be uh, just above him in small planet as 63.5 zeta tons, not in moon level. So there should be no characters whose um, stat, like given number, is actually moon level, it's just really just Strider. Shadow probably shouldn't be there either. He is the only character in the show put at regular planet level, not small or large, coming in at 285 zettatons of TNT, thanks to scaling to half of Yusuke's big tree explosion punch. And at large planet we've got Shadow with 2.8 Yotatons, Base Goku at 8.7 Yotatons, Optimus Prime with a matrix of leadership at 40 Yotatons, Shira at 44, Cable at 112, Super Saiyan Goku at 433, Super Saiyan 2 at 867, King DDD at 1.9 Ninatons, Wally West at 2.63 Ninatons, Master Roshi above Goku and Wally West at 3 Ninatons, Super Saiyan 3 Goku at 3.4 Ninatons, and Wally West for some reason again at 10 Ninatons. This is the number you get if you put 2 quadrillion times what Sonic's durability was. This is where levels of power get hard to really comprehend because if we saw a star level explosion in real life, we'd be fucking dead. If there's gonna be some smart ass going, oh actually when you look at the stars at night, technically those have all already died. Fuck off. Binary in the first episode was directly stated as star levels of power. Greenland, when compared to Way Big, is apparently supernova level, as they say that Way Big can't do that, which would imply that Hal does. By the way, um one foe, the unit to measure the power of a single supernova, is 10 to the power of 44 joules. While for some reason, solar system level is 10 to the power of 45 joules, meaning a one foe supernova is not solar system level. That brings me agony. Goku's key at Super Saiyan 4 is worth 34.7 neonatons of TNT. Steven Universe put 201.67 neonatons of TNT. Booster Gold, surviving planet level subatomic manipulation, is worth 14 tenatons of TNT. And Doctor Strange is around 350 tenatons of TNT. Herbert West moment. Shazam was put at 97.4 with his black hole punch. Geo Stellar was put at 192.464 mega full, and King Mickey was put at 17 giga full. Wait, where the fuck is Spider Man? Here are the things you can chuck, it's time for Galaxy Level. Dr. Fate held together a universe with help, which would be directly below universe level, but probably around multi galaxy. Darkseid was put at 40 Yotafo, which is where they put the Omega Force's number for being universal. It is not universal. Hulk in Hulk vs. Broly is given a number worth 9.6 Ninafo. Mega Man EXE is put at 3.8419 Omega Fo, which is a ridiculous fucking number. And Shazam with Zeus scaling is put at 1000th universal level or 210 Petafo. That's also a unit measurement. Now we're getting to the boring tiers where numbers don't apply as much. Wally West can destroy the universe if he increases the vibrational speed of his infinite mass punch. Wario might scale to a universe buster. Alien X made a universe. Green Lantern scales to Kyle Rayner holding back a big bang. Dracula draws power from a universe. Feedback held back a big bang. I'm not reading that word name, fuck you. And then the rest of the vaguely universal cast consists of Star Butterfly, Doctor Doom, Lex Luthor, Mega Man, EXE, Zarathos, Darkseid, and of course Thanos. Only with the Infinity Gauntlet though, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Obviously universal power is not something he'd be prepared to deal with without the gauntlet. And then there's True Darkseid. You know, I know, we all know that True Darkseid is well above Universal. Wait, I don't know, I'm not a versus debater, why am I the one saying this? However, in the episode, Darkseid is never referred to as multiversal. While they say he threatens all of creation, they at multiple times refer to the Omega Force as a universe level thing, saying Thanos can't survive universal obliteration, scaling to a force that stopped a universal explosion, scaling to pre-crisis Superman no-selling a universal attack, and scaling to Time Trapper who is stated as universal. So while they say he threatens all of creation, they multiple times refer to it as just universal, so they likely only place him here. I mean, numbers technically count, but like, not really. Sailor Galaxia scale to Sailor Moon is 8 times universal. Beerus is 9 times universal due to the size of the Dragon Ball Universe and the Shockwaves. Green Lantern held back a big ass bomb that they say due to the size of the DC Universe is 10 times universal. Hulk is 120 times universal from scaling to 2 times Uni Hyperion and then 100 times from fucking Uma. And I do mean fucking Uma. Though they say it's 120 times Savage Hulk who they compared to a 2 ton universe feed from Hyperion. So uh, who fucking knows. 
Broly was put at least 3,600 times Universal, scaling to Goku in Super Saiyan 3 from Battle of Gods being 30 times Worldbreaker Hulk at the 120 times Universal area, but Broly was also stated to be potentially millions of times greater than Hulk. Wally and Barry running together nearly destroyed the multiverse. No I didn't forget to record this, this is definitely just a fun reference to Biff Weed's past. Definitely. King DDD might scale to a multiversal character. And True Fate defeated Lords of Order and Chaos, they were able to disrupt the entire infinite multiverse. Given the fact that they directly stays infinite multiversal, this could be anywhere from low to regular complex multiversal range. I have seen people bring up that the fact that they use quotations as if, oh it's not really doing that, but I sort of just took that as that's directly quoting what they were doing. Quotations aren't always sarcastic, they are literally quoting from a source. Hey Wiz, what's half of infinity? Goku can become infinite but only if he draws energy from across multiverses for his spirit bomb. Hulk at his maximum potential can become infinite, and so can Scorpion if he's in the nether realm for long enough I guess. And Superman's just infinite in general. Read the text, dickhead. It's fucking Chuck Norris the second century. What the fuck else would it be, moron? We are not going to insult your intelligence by explaining what lifting strength is to you. All of these are going to be converted to tons, because we're not going to follow up a number in pounds with a number in kilograms. They have a Marvel Herald and Luigi in the same tier as Starlight and Caboose, and I fucking hate that. Rogue lifted a building, Chunli lifted a couch, Luigi struggled to lift a large radish, Starlight could lift up the back of a car, and Caboose is vaguely stronger than Agent Texas. Fucking, they're too weak to lift one ton, which I guess in real life is not saying much. Deadpool lifted a gun at 72 ounces, Felicia can lift her 128 pound body at 0.058 tons, Darth Vader at a low ball can lift several hundred pounds which is around 0.1 tons, Shredder lifted the 0.13 ton leatherhead, Smokey Bear can lift a 0.15 ton boulder, Jake Long, Guts and Daredevil can lift 0.18 tons, Jake Long lifted a boulder, Daredevil lifted a barbell and Guts lifted his sword. Mewtwo in the mid range of Darth Vader is around 0.22 tons, Mewtwo is from lifting Onyx. Glacius is 0.24 tons from launching Folgor. Silver Samurai is 0.27 tons from throwing off Daredevil, She Devil, Cheetah, and a Panther. Darth Vader's high end is 0.408 tons. And Batman's bench press is 0.45 tons. But then Caps' bench press is even better, 0.49 tons. I mean, this speaks for itself, right? Batman can leg press 1.134 tons. Wolverine, White Ranger, and Gutsman can all lift 1.8 tons. The Meta can lift 3 tons. Crash Bandicoot can lift 2.257. Voldnut can lift 8.6, Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen, and Beast can lift 9.07, Tails and Robocop can lift 10, Bane can lift 24.49, Danny Phantom can lift 27.21, My Comfort Character can lift 32.6, Samurai Jack can lift 35.38, Base Goku can lift 36.2, Star Platinum, I misread that as Starlight and I thought they put Starlight above Goku for a second. Star Platinum can lift 54.4 tons, Agent Texas can lift 66 tons, Lucy can lift 67.9, Gundam can lift... Why the fuck did you list it as Gundam this time, but the you listed it as like RX whatever last time? Fuck you. The Gundam can lift 68.4 tons, and Spider-Man 2099 and Iron Man in his modular armor can lift 90.7 tons. You can read numbers. Miles Morales, the high end of Spider-Man 2099, and Carnage all put 117 tons. Nazi Dragnil at 122 tons. Venom, Kentro, Batman Beyond at 181 tons. Twilight Sparkle, 308 tons. Angst Airbending at 358 tons. And Link with the Golden Gauntlets and Raiden are put 907 tons. Super Saiyan Goku can lift 1,814 tons. The Mega Tigers are can lift 1,500. Super Saiyan 2 Goku can lift over 3,600. Ang with his Earthbending can lift 9,427. Kona can lift 9,512. Dragon's Art can lift 10,000. Super Saiyan 3 Goku can lift 14,514. And K. Roll can lift 25,000. It's almost nothing here. Mega Man and Zero can lift 54,431 tons, Kitty U in the sidebar can lift 60,000 tons, and Astro Boy can lift 90,718 tons. Goku, Aquaman, and Optimus Prime in the same tier is funny to me. Godzilla can lift 100,000 tons, Super Saiyan 4 Goku can lift 145,000, Aquaman can lift 288,000, Optimus can lift 656,000, and Thor in Season 1 was able to lift over 907,000 tons. I can't fucking believe John Talbane is above Thor. John Talbane scale on a QB can lift 29,387,149.921 tons. Ang's waterbending can lift 35,700,000 tons. Mario and Wario can lift 55,676,494 tons. Tatsumaki can lift 2,977,574,973 tons. 
the whole Cogbuster and Namor can lift 136 billion, 770 million, 711 thousand tons. Base Thor can lift around 251 trillion tons. Berserker 4 can lift around 25 quadrillion tons. Thanos can lift around 45 quintillion tons. And Superman can lift around 5 sextillion tons. Speed is how fast a character can move or react, that's all there is to it. They did not want to give numbers for any of these. Luke Skywalker would be fast enough to block the Avada Kedavra. Leon Kennedy can dodge a laser grid. Kenshiro can throw 16.6 .6 punches every second. Ken Masters is fast enough to dodge the super powerful Akuma, very sound logic there. Tracer can react in 0.011 seconds, Bayonetta can react in 0.0012 seconds, Epsilon perceives things 205 times slower than a human, Ratchet and Steven Universe are laser timers, Ganondorf was listed as an arrow timer against Bowser, Pikachu's speed is vaguely off the charts, Link's speed is Pegasus boots and rocks feather level, and several of Eggman's badniks were put at badnik speed. Dig Dug running as fast as this was apparently unimaginable speed. Kratos was fast enough to run up walls. Taokaka is faster than the rest of the Blaze Blue cast. Yoshi is vaguely faster than Mario. Goomba and Koopa are vaguely slow. Shang Tsung is speedy hot escape level, which sounds disgusting. Samus is vaguely faster than Boba Fett. Johnny Cage can dodge automatic gunfire. Hercule Satan can move vaguely faster than the untrained eye can see. The Red Ranger, Ez, Death, Roshi, Zuko, Todoroki, Batgirl, Poe, and Star Butterfly are all vague lightning timers. Dante and Virgil could slice 108,000 raindrops per second. Shovel Knight's as fast as a cannonball. Raiden's as fast as a bullet train. Goliath is as fast as rocket-powered flight. Soul Bad Guy, Sub-Zero, and Weiss Schnee can react to missiles. Simmons can change armor 90 times faster than any other super soldier. Majin Buu is vaguely below the speed of light. Gara of the Sand is vaguely almost Mach 1. Star Platinum, Supersonic, Super Shadow, and Yoda are vaguely almost the speed of light. Sephiroth and Captain Falcon are vaguely supersonic. Wonder Woman, Vegeta, and Shadow are vaguely hypersonic. Hypersonic, Mega Man X, Jake Long, Danny Phantom, Booster Gold, Iron Man, Voltron, Kirby, John Talbain, Saber Wolf, Spider Gwen, and Rock Lee are all vaguely faster than light. And Wally West and Archie Sonic, just, yeah. These characters are too fucking slow to run faster than sound. Frank West boarded a 15 mile per hour train in less than three seconds. Scout can apparently run at 17 miles per hour. Riptor can move at half the speed of a Velociraptor around 19.8 miles per hour. Crash Bandicoot outrun a polar bear, which is around 25 miles per hour. Bane and Black Widow can move at 35 miles per hour. That is Widow's running speed and the speed of a current Bane can swim against. Beast can apparently run at 40 miles per hour. Leon S. Kennedy can outrace Tyrant, who is around 43 miles per hour. McGruff the Crime Dog scales to an average Bloodhound, is around 45 miles per hour. Bowser is said to be able to outrun Lions, which is around 49.7 miles per hour. Mars Chief, Captain America, and Black Panther are all around 50 miles per hour. That is where Chief and Capra stated, while Panther is stated to be able to outrun a Panther. Doom Guy is just 57 miles per hour. Sega Sancho can run on ice barefoot at 60 miles per hour, and can run on water at 67.11 miles per hour. Scrooge McDuck out around a cheetah, which is around 75 miles per hour. Red Team's Warthog is around 78 miles per hour. Leon Kennedy's knife throw is around 80 miles per hour. The top speed of Boba Fett's jetpack is about 9 miles per hour. Knuckles the Echidna is just stated at 100 miles per hour. Fanny Phantom's flight speed is stated at 112 miles per hour. The White Tiger Sword is stated at 115 miles per hour. Lionel winning a foot race against Chitara is worth 120 miles per hour. Roshi's reaction speed from catching machine gun balls is 122.58 miles per hour. The low end and Amor catching up to the Human Torch is 140 miles per hour. Harry Potter's Firebolt is 150 miles per hour. Spyro out racing biplanes is 159 miles per hour. Scrooge and Duck in a boat can throw a coin across a river and catch it. Wow, that's 164 miles per hour. Jake Long is stated to be able to fly 179 miles per hour. Spider-Man is stated to run at 200 miles per hour. Gundam Epion is just stated to be able to move at 250 miles per hour. Twice Michael is just stated to be able to move at 300 miles per hour. Urza Scala can block bullets at a speed of 540 miles per hour. Tails of Fox at top speed is apparently 706 miles per hour. Amy Rose at top speed is apparently 765 miles per hour. And the average speed of Sonic is around 765 miles per hour. The speed of sound, based. Sonic can apparently easily run faster than sound. Wolverine and Machamp can attack at the speed of sound. Mitsuru is put at Mark 1.06. A-Train at Mark 1.08. Tommy Oliver at Mark 0.1, The Blue Falcon at Mark 1.2, Venom against Bane at Mark 1.9, Mikasa at Mark 1.9, Homelander at Mark 2, and Carnage at Mark 2. These characters are stated to be able to react to bullets, which Death Battle has consistently put at around Mark 2.2. Leon S. Kennedy, leader of the 7th House of K, Batman and Batman vs. Black Panther, Daredevil, Nightwing, Ken Sudo, Edward Elric, Widowmaker, Black Widow, Spider-Man 299, Terry Bogart, Jin Kazuma, Ryu, Spider-Man's reaction speed, Robocop's reaction speed, Captain America's reaction speed, Scout's reaction speed, Bayonetta's reaction speed, and Agent Carolina's point-blank reaction speed. You can read, I'm not gonna babysit you. 
Lucy can react at Mach 2.44, Ryu Hayabusa can react at Mach 2.49, Kiryu at Mach 2.5. Oh fuck, I said the name right that time. <laughs> Starscream at Mark 2.7, Gamera, Sindel, and Goro at Mark 3, Strider Hiryu at Mark 3.5, The Dumpling and the Blue Ranger at Mark 3.9, The R Wing at Mark 4.2, Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie at Mark 4.9, Mob the Hulk, Metal Sonic, Wonder Woman, and Bucky at Mark 5, Artemisia at Mark 7, Rainbow Dash at Mark 9.9 with the Sonic Rain Boom, and Gamera's Reaction Speed at Mark 10. These characters have been stated to be able to move faster than people can see, which in Renamon vs. Lucario, they stated was around this speed. Rowan or Zoro, Deadpool and Vis Pinkie Pie, Renamon, Lucario, Natsu Dragneel, Darth Vader, and Guts. These are above Mach 11, yeah. Batman Beyond at Mach 19.5, Shira's Claiming Speed at Mach 21.6, Dante at Mach 22, The Gundam at Mach 25, Pitt's Flight Speed at Mach 28, Thor at Mach 32 in his first appearance, Mike Guy's Morning Peacock at 32.3, Devil Jin and Donkey Kong's Punching Speed at Mach 32.58, Mewtwo at Mach 32.6, Mega Man Volnut, Dragon Zord, and King Dedede's Spitting Speed at Mach 33, Metal Sonic against Zero at Mach 35, Raven's Soul Self at Mark 36, Tatsumaki at Mark 36.7, Cringe Ass Mecha Godzilla at Mark 45.95, Blake at Mark 77.9, Ang's Reaction Speed at almost Mark 155, Optimus Prime using Side Swipes Jetpack at Mark 162, Leonardo's Reaction Speed at Mark 166, Genos at Mark 200, King DDD at Mark 208, and Captain Marvel against 18 at Mark 247. They can time to lightning. There are multiple values because they've used different values in the past. Deadpool and Deadpool vs. Mask and the reaction speed of Shigeo Kageyama are put at Mach 285. Hiei Jiraiya and Roshi at Mach 286. Sonic in his second episode at Mach 287. And Mega Man and Zero at Mach 291. They can move faster than lightning, except some of these are here because of lightning timing feats. Mario and Wario at Mach 375. Android 18 at Mach 443.13. Lucy at Mark 573, War Machine at Mark 624, Supersonic in Season 1 at Mark 997, Namor at vaguely thousands of times the speed of sound, Prime All Might at Mark 1758.89, Tatsumaki's reaction speeds at Mark 1887.17, Miles Morales, Kakashi, and Venom against Krona at Mark 2000, Mike Guy at Mark 2225.09, Optimus Prime's Ion Blaster at Mark 4234, Ryuko at Mach 7779, Krona at Mach 9708.45. Android 18 was corrected in the comment section by them to be Mach 19940.85. Grey Fullbuster was put at Mach 20,000, The Mask at Mach 28,090, Hiei at Mach 31,000, Danny Phantom's Combat Speed at Mach 52,116, Astro Boy at Mach 58,417, Roshi's Kamehameha at Mach 74,727, Link in the Rematch at Mach 87,403, Ganondorf against Dracula at Mach 102,953, Pitch Reaction Speed at over Mach 117,000, Afro Samurai at over Mach 183,500, Geese at Mach 227,500, I have made another big ass mistake in my numbers. So, Geese, actually, uh, I put in 0 0.26, but because it's 2.6%, it should be 0 0.026. So, actually, it should be around Mark 22,724, which is around sub-relativistic, I think. While Heihachu, who would have appeared later, but I'm going to cut that out because it's a mistake, should be 0 0.0409%, or... Sorry, 0 0.049 times the speed of light, which is around Mark 35,747, which is also sub-relativistic. So they should have been there. Whoops. Sonic and Shadow were over Mark 260,000. Sora and Naruto at Mark 286,731. Ichigo at Mark 415,760. And Samurai Jack at Mark 611,821. They can move faster than light, that's very fast. Sonic's Light Speed Dash, Will Break a Hulk, Doomsday, Quicksilver, Binary and vs. Shazam, He has Reaction Speed, Sasuke's Reaction Speed, Naruto's Reaction Speed, and Thor and Thor vs. Wonder Woman, and Iron Fist are all put at 1 times the speed of light. Sora's Key Beam is a 1.28 times the speed of light, Ichigo's Reaction Speed is a 1.45 times the speed of light, Black Canary's Reaction Speed is 1.5 times the speed of light, Goku and Goku vs. Superman 1 is 2.3 times the speed of light, Superman and Goku vs. Superman 1 is 8.7 times the speed of light, the Flash is apparently 10 times the speed of light. Sanji Vinspoke is 13 times the speed of light. Sigma is 144 times the speed of light. Obi-Wan Kenobi upscaled from Kakashi is 160 times the speed of light. 
the, they, they say that he's multiple times Kikashi speed, which would put him at this speed. Swiftwind is 454 times the speed of light. Alcaban and Wonder Woman in a second episode, a thousand times the speed of light. Cloud and Link vs. Cloud 2 is 1,200 times the speed of light. Ultron's fight is 200,000 times the speed of light. Thor's fight is 521,907 times the speed of light. Superman and Goku vs. Superman 2 is 1,192,961.5 times the speed of light. Star Force Mega Man is 3 million times the speed of light. King Mickey is 170 million times the speed of light. Crystal Sundancer is 21 billion 900 million times the speed of light. Ghost Rider's Hell Cycle is 100 billion times the speed of light. Thanos is 3 trillion times the speed of light. Shazam and the Analysis is 133 trillion times the speed of light. Doctor Strange has put a 6 quadrillion times the speed of light. Alien X has put a 7 quadrillion times the speed of light. Shazam and the Conclusion has put 133 quadrillion times the speed of light. Beerus and Broly both are 242 quadrillion times the speed of light. Hulk and Hulk vs Broly has put 293 quadrillion times the speed of light. Sailor Galaxy has put 366 quadrillion times the speed of light. Green Lantern in the analysis has put at 1.5 quintillion times the speed of light. Dr. Doom and vs Lex Luthor has put at 2 quintillion times the speed of light. Lex Luthor against Dr. Doom has put at 5 quintillion times the speed of light. Green Lantern has put at multiple times Alien X's speed, which would not be his pre-established speed, but actually around 5.25 quintillion times the speed of light. Wonder Woman was put at 52 quintillion times the speed of light. However, when they compare her to She-Ra at the end, the actual multiplier they give is around 197 quintillion times the speed of light. Nabu's flight speed is put at 28 decillion times the speed of light. Darkseid is put at 87 duo decillion times the speed of light. And Chuck Norris, this is this one's not actually given, this is just for fun. Running around the world in one plank instance to punch itself in the back of a head would it be about 1.3 tredecillion times the speed of light. Mega Man EXE, however, is put at 3 novum decillion times the speed of light. But in one of the Death Battle casts, they just say Green Lantern is even faster than that. Jesus, why are there so many of these? Season 1 was a different beast, man. Dig Dug is weak enough to be killed by a sentient tomato in one hit. Justin Bieber survived being hit with a water bottle. Mod Jim Boo was put at human level durability. The Koopa Troopa shell can withstand 200 pounds. Boba Fett, Gundam Epion, and Metal Greymon are all tougher than Titanium. Scrooge McDuck could tank a cannonball. Boba Fett, Spider-Man, and the Joker could survive a bomb to the face. Daredevil could survive a napalm explosion. Starlight survived shots from a big ass sniper rifle. Deadpool against Pinkie Pie and Vegeta could survive a nuclear blast. Megazord got one shot by someone who could destroy half a planet. Bowser and Godzilla could survive a black hole. Superman could absorb enough solar energy to vaporize half a galaxy. Yoshi and Peach could survive Mario Party. Amy Rose could survive being crushed by a boulder twice her height. The Joker Mobile was bulletproof. Sweet Tooth was missile proof. The Meta is as tough as a tank. Lucario was rooftop level. Kratos is titan level. Jack and Daxter survived a cave in. Gara could survive a village busting attack. And Natsu, Dragneo, Dante, Ratchet, and Godzilla were all able to survive meteors. Back to Street Tier! Woo! Tracer was put at 5,239 joules, Nathan Drake at 10 kilojoules, Nightwing at 33 kilojoules, Lara Croft at 43.1216 kilojoules, Guts as low ball at 68.7 kilojoules, and Kami White at 87 kilojoules. The Kool-Aid man could ram into them and they'd live, I don't know. Master Chief outside his armor could withstand 225 kilojoules. Ryu Hayabusa could withstand 229 kilojoules. The fucking Flash could withstand 306 kilojoules. Guts at a high ball could survive 309. TG Combo could survive 354 kilojoules. And Balrog could survive 387 kilojoules. Now moving on to tons of TNT. Both Twilight Sparkle and Queen Maeve could survive 0.001 tons of TNT. Quicksilver could survive 0.002. Yang could survive 0.003. And the Shredder at 0.004. Pinkie Pie survived being thrown through some walls, and Renamon, Terry Bogart, and Ragnar the Blood Edge all survived concrete busting attacks. I like buildings. These are the energies needed to kill them. Master Chief's armor was with 0 0.1 tons of TNT. Kenshiro ate a building falling on his face. Android 18 tanked a building level blast. Robocop tanked a building level blast. And Bison tanked a building. Lucy Declonius was put at 0 0.45 tons of TNT. Crash, Spyro, and Winnowmaker, but not actually, at 2 tons of TNT. And Weiss only with ice at 7 tons of TNT. There is no line here for me to transition into this segment and I cannot be bothered to add one. Leonardo could survive 12 tons of TNT, Samurai Jack could survive 19, Mitchell at 21.7, Pit at 30, Volnut at 38, Batgirl at 58, Afro Samurai at 72, Mob at 83.3 and Venom at 84 tons of TNT. Into the multi-city block level now, Captain Falcon could survive 100 tons of TNT, Spider-Gwen could survive 124, Carnage could survive 125, Deadpool against the Mask could survive 129.86, Miles Morales could survive 222, the Dragon Dragonzord could survive 356.67, and the Red Ranger could survive 548.94. Imagine some bastard just shits a town size explosion in your face, what a cunt! Namor was put at 1.4 kilotons of TNT, Gandalf at 1.91 kilotons of TNT, Urza Scarlet at 2 kilotons of TNT, 
Danny Phantom with 7.5 kilotons of TNT, Shadow with 13.9 kilotons of TNT, and Edward Elric at 30.5 kilotons of TNT. Homelander being in the same tier as Dracula and War Machine upsets me. Homelander could survive 1.5 megatons of TNT, Mob's suction abilities could survive 1.16, Dracula could survive 2, War Machine could survive 2.5, and Jin could survive 3.7 megatons of TNT. Now onto full on city level, Sora could withstand 24 megatons of TNT, and the reds and blues could all withstand 50 megatons of TNT each. Even though this is wrong regardless, because Simmons corrected Sarge to say the explosion was only 10 megatons, and if you calc it, it would get much, much higher than 50. Mountains are big! Camera's durability was 112 megatons of TNT, the Gundam's durability was 150.858 megatons of TNT, Rhea's durability was 415 megatons of TNT. These characters could survive the inevitable destruction of all of Britain. Voltron could survive 3.107 teratons, Mega Man X could survive 9 teratons, Raven could survive 69 teratons, and Zero could survive 100 teratons. Into the large country level now, Archie Sonic could survive 5 teratons. I'm not sure why he's above the other three, but that's Nem's problem, not mine. Kai Rao could survive 128.2 teratons of TNT, and the mask could survive 322 teratons of TNT. Once again, we're not going to be here for long. One woman survived two patterns of TNT, and Naruto's put 27 exatons of TNT. Saitama could deck them in the mouth, and they might not die of decapitation like Alucard did. Thor could survive 53 zetatons of TNT. Supersonic could vaguely survive a planet exploding in his face. Doomsday gets whacked a lot by planet-level characters. Binary could survive attacks from the Phoenix Force, which, as we all know, is only planet level. Kirby survives a planet bus without a scratch. Mario and Wario could survive 95 zetatons of TNT. Sigma can survive 682 Yota tons of TNT. And Optimus Prime could survive 4.48 Nina tons of TNT. I'm back at Star again. Back where it started. Whoop the frickin' do. Pog is booster gold. Goku is Super Saiyan 4's durability is 34.7 Nina tons of TNT. King DDD is at 55.98 Nina tons of TNT. Pog Booster Gold and Mega Man EXE at 1410 tons of TNT. Ultron scales to Thor being above star level. Superman at 10 foe. And Doctor Strange and Cloud Strife at around 14 foe, which is the minimum of a supernova. This is literally just Thanos. Oh, he's so perfect. Thanos can survive 11.4 mega foe. That's it, that's the whole tier. Boom Go Galaxy. Thanos is stated at a galaxy level. Roshi held his own against galaxy buses. And Alien X is around 40 Yoda foe durability. Back to the boring tiers now, but I only have to briefly mention two characters. Both of which are Ben 10, because I will never escape this character, apparently. Feedback held back a Big Bang, and Alien X tanked a universe being erased without even noticing. Multerific! Beerus with Soda's own shockwave, Green Lands via the multiversal erasure event, and Dr. Fate did that too, but this time they said the erasure was infinite. No limits fallacy, what's that? Super Shadow and Super Archie Sonic were invincible, as were Mario and Peach with their various power-ups. And so is Star Platinum against any non-stand user. Yeah, who the fuck do you think is played Infinite? Yeah, it's Superman. Wow, that was a fun and worthwhile experience. The best part is noticing when characters are way above characters they should be. I do appreciate Aang having a higher lifting strength than Thor. Well, of course. Aang's an Atla Herald, baby. Atla is related to Marvel. No wonder all their episodes fucking suck. Well, that's not really fair to say. Think of all the stunning hand-drawn stuff in Zuko vs Todoroki, and the absolutely raffle worthy jokes about Boomstick's dad and Edward's height. Yeah, I'm gonna go shoot myself. Oh, so this is my channel now then? Cool. First order of business, time to republish the Wolverine vs Raiden how it should have been. Time, huh? Shut the fuck up! Okay, for real, how do we actually end this? It does not seem like we planned ahead very well. I don't know. Bye! <laughs>